In the color filter template, we have one main object here, the color filter block. Clicking on this reveals all these inputs here. And as you adjust these, you can see it affects the scene. So we can get super crazy, just push that saturation, push that hue, and we end up with this. So how does this work? Well, this color filter is doing some magic and outputting to this texture, which is applied to this rectangle. So we've already kind of gone over this quite a bit. We have a canvas here with a rectangle here, and the material is getting information from the patches. But the real trick is how this block works. So this block itself has these parameters, which are represented by this purple here. So you can see brightness, contrast, hue, satch, all that are here. And then inside this color filter is a heap of calculations that converts all these values to the different types of operations. And if we jump in there, yeah, lots going on. And we're not gonna dive into that, that's too much. Um, so we'll hop back out to here. And one thing we can do, just to kind of animate this without getting too crazy, is up here we can add patches to all of these. So let's grab the hue, and that resets it back to this default. And as usual, we can grab a runtime, multiply, crank that up maybe a little bit, like 10, and then plug that in. Now you can see it's pushing this constantly as time goes on. And I'm not sure if this will loop back around or just continue. Okay, well, it looks like it stops at 180. So instead of using a runtime, we would have to use a loop animation and a transition. So let's just delete that. And we only need a single value. And this goes from negative 180 to positive 180. And let's use a curve just to smooth it out and add a little bit more variety to it. And this will happen once a second, so it's gonna be real crazy at first. So let's slow it down to five seconds. And because of this animation curve, it goes smooth for a little bit and then gets a little crazy because that's the exponential nature of it. And that's pretty much it. It's simple in concept. All the complexity of it is in here in this color filter. Oh, you can actually see the trajectory of the curve here, this little dot here. You can see it goes slow and then zips across and slows down again and then repeats. So that's that exponential in and out that's smoothing it on its in and out.